Alexander Hamilton, what's up? <laughs> That's not my <laughs> name. Uh, but uh, Alexander <laughs> Hamilton good. Jones. Um, maybe, maybe that'll be what I, if I have a son. Maybe that's what I'll name him. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, or maybe, maybe I'll name him uh, Link. <laughs> What's up? You know, the people don't know this, but we're recording this a month after the first episode should be known. It's it is very true. We are doing that. Um, that's too bad. So last episode on Sir River, uh, we. <clears throat> We were introduced to the new tribes, uh, Morgan and Drake, uh, uh, which I, I actually almost, in my mind, I almost just said Megan and Drake, um, mm -hmm. because I was just trying to do a Drake and Josh thing there. That was really weird. Uh, but no, uh, we had uh, uh, Morgan and Drake, and so their their big, big twist of the season was that the only thing that they get to, to keep with them was the clothes on their back. Yep, and so, they, were, they thought they were going to a photo shoot, but really the game was yep. already begunning. Yeah, so one guy had like a had like a nice suit on. A Ronnie suit. Yeah, and then someone else had jeans, which is like, ugh, that's horrible for swimming Ru in. Yeah, Rupert was like, my yeah. jeans are so tight. My jeans. <laughs> and, <laughs> that's that's a little weird. I didn't need to know that, but uh, <laughs> he said something like that, and like, yeah. and then they ended up. One of the girls ended up cutting up something to make him a dress or a skirt yeah yeah which i probably was really nice concerning it would have chafed like <laughs> like a mother he he was really detailed about it actually in one of the confessional he was like oh yeah he was yeah. his jeans his legs running rubbing together like that oh it was not a fun time yeah, yeah. well i don't i don't imagine it being and a very fun time Rupert so. had his moment where he stole the shoes from the other tribe when they were out in the the market oh yeah that was that was awesome was i think yeah, he he was so he was like an early favorite for me. I liked yeah. him. Um, and we had uh, like Sandra was uh, speaking the language. She was getting things done out there. That was a nice, fun little sequence. You know, it's different than the other seasons how they start, where they're just thrown into this. Yeah. And just have to navigate, get what they can get. It was it was good. I I did I did enjoy. Enjoy you had, that bit. Uh, Austin telling the women to flash their boobies. It to get some good stuff, which apparently is one of the first things he said to <laughs> any of them, which is really weird. <laughs> Just a suggestion, yeah. Oof. Yeah. We had a couple of Ryans. We had a couple of uh, produce Ryan and uh, produce other Ryan, Ryan and <laughs> other Ryan. It became between produce Ryan and Nicole for who was going to be voted out. Right. Just because they didn't think produce Ryan was pulling his weight in the challenge. Mm. But Nicole is the one that a, goes ultimately. Which was a which was a dumb challenge. Hey, what was that challenge? They were like pulling. They had to like, it's it was one yeah. of the races where they both have so little space for like ninety percent of the race, mm -hmm. and then it opens up to this giant beach at the end where they're pulling these cans in. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah. Who could, they, they, who, who could forget the iconic moment where they whip their <laughs> dinglings out? Who could forget? <laughs> Indeed. It's right up there with the Jenna and Heidi moment. Yeah. They, the iconic. <laughs> yeah. They they got they dropped Trow. It was like really forced on their end where he was like, the only problem is that uh, I think it might have been Ryan actually. It could have been someone else. So Ryan's pants mm -hmm. or shorts were like falling down so we're worried about that during the challenge. So, we made a deal that if his shorts fall down, we're just gonna drop. We're all gonna drop our tra trousers down, in solidarity. Like, yeah, it seems very necessary. Very in helpful. solidarity, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Very helpful. Um, yeah, so that was fun. That was a fun challenge. Tijuana was being a little aggress aggressive in the marketplace, telling her, "Give me my money, give me my money back." And, and we have a little bit of John. Johnny Fairplay, he calls himself. He was being a goofball. He's the guy who was, like, goofing around, getting all drunk and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he got, like, hammered with the with the wine or whatever yeah. that, they, that they got, yeah. So it's like we got these little tiny teasers of all these different people. The personalities. Little Just bits little, little bits, yeah. But now let's see, we'll see where we go next. Yeah, it was a little bit of a longer episode last time, too, which I actually really liked. 
Yeah, a bit of an extended premiere. Mm. Okay, let's check it All out, right. right? Yeah, yeah. Let's, so last time, this. should have addressed this in the beginning, last time you'll have noticed that it was kind of jank. You didn't get my reaction in there. Um, uh, you could hear me, but you won't see me because my camera froze like 10 minutes into the episode. So that's cool. Hopefully not yes. happening this time. I'm going to be checking it regularly. Yeah. Just to make sure. <laughs> but we'll try to make never sure that happened that, uh, before in history. Never, My camera never froze. So Try to make sure that goes without a hitch. For sure. And if you want to see our reaction highlights, you can click the link in the description to do so and then come back for the discussion. Please and thank you. <laughs> Produce yep. Ryan, gone too soon. It's really tragic. Yeah. It is too bad. We can't make any more terrible um, produce, making fun of his produce know, name. You know, saying you want to quit, like, is a proven strategy. Our previous winner did impl implemented that very, very good strategy before, where she wanted to quit <laughs> and went on to win the game. So that's how you do it. <laughs> so you're saying Austin is going to win this game, well, then? Maybe Austin's a little early on this one, though. <laughs> <laughs> a little early to already be quitting. She did it in the end game. Yeah. She's like, I give up, and then won. And she just won challenges all the way to the end. Yeah. So in Austin's in not going to do insanely. that. Insanely. <laughs> insanely. Yeah. yeah. And kind of ruined the whole end of the season. That was great, though. Uh, <laughs> let's see. That was, this was a great episode, honestly. It, um, well, it was something. <laughs> Give it the... There was awesome I mean, Rupert moments. Where he, he the, got Rupert... the Rupert roaring yeah. <laughs> when he found the spearhead. <laughs> Rupert is easily my favorite uh, from this season uh, so far. Uh, I just really like all the Rupert moments. Uh, him and his spear. It's the spear saga this episode with him. Uh, he's, cause he's, he's, doing, he's feeding the tribe. He's doing all this thing. He talks about, man, I don't... No one... I, I can't lose the spear. Everyone's got to be careful with the spear. Then I, I can't remember who it was that went out for the spear. Was it uh, Sean? Sean, yeah. Sean went out with a spear. He like loses it immediately. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how long it actually <laughs> took him to lose it, but uh, then he comes back. He's like, "Oh, I broke it." And then Rupert like flips it out. <laughs> he was like, so you... mad he was breaking stuff in front of him. He was about to yeah. kill somebody. <laughs> he was gonna <laughs> gonna ru ruin a man. But, um, yeah, Rupert's such a character. He's so pirate-like in just an appearance, and then he's got like a roar. He's got this this voice, <laughs> this standout he, voice. He's so, kind of a teddy I'm bear alive there too. Out here. He's I, he's kind of a teddy bear there too, which is which is like a fun yeah. like like a wee, interesting balance with him. I love being in the middle of a fish tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, it's great. Uh, so uh, we had uh, Sandra coming to take the tarp after they uh, won that challenge, right? Yeah. So she was looking for like a water, a water jug. Um, couldn't find it. Um, so then she just decided to take the tarp. Um, so disassembled her, their whole shelter. Everybody was mad about it. Not a good look for Sandra, I guess, for that no. tribe. Yeah. Which, uh, if she lasts during with the merge, that's that may uh, that may come back to yeah. bite her. Um, cause they, they saw people... in the preview, I can get loud too. Yeah, I can get loud too. She's screaming at, uh, that's going to be great. And, uh, what's John. his name there? John. John's yeah. an John. ass. John. Drunk John. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it's interesting. We went through some like valleys of like different storylines in this, you know, you have Rupert spearhead storyline. You had Sandra tarp stealing and then you had yeah. Austin wanting to quit storyline. Yeah, Austin's like I'm giving up. He's like I just, I'm out. I'm, my body is get, is going, it's not my body is giving up. It's my body is going to give up eventually. So I qu I'm just going to quit now. Mm -hmm. Which like, that just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I get I get that this that Survivor is part, part there is a mental aspect to this that sometimes we don't really necessarily get it's not always conveyed super well i mean i think we got it a little bit um last season with uh i'm falling apart 
Mm-hmm. Um, but there's always one that struggles super hard. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but like this this time, it's like it's really early. It's pretty early on. It, I mean, it just just kind of seems like I mean, they even said at tribal council that like, oh, we haven't really had a meeting to like figure things out, and it's like five days in, and you guys haven't like figured your shelter out <laughs> yet, totally. And yeah, this is more like uh, it seems purely to be a mental thing, honestly. Yeah. Whereas Tanya, you know, like Tanya in Survivor Thailand, she was Tanya. she was actually throwing up out there. Yeah, she was like, like right out the Ill. gate. Yeah. And then you had similar in like Africa. There was someone who was really sick also in yeah. Borneo. Ramona was sick really, really early. There's always one that seems to struggle. Yeah, but it's like, but no one's really feeling that necessarily. It's just. I mean, they are all kind of exhausted, but it's just it's just kind of interesting because it's like he's a really fit dude, and like it's just funny because like all of his complaints just sound like excuses. So it's just like I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see where it keeps going. I don't know going, what but... it is. It's day six, so I don't know if it's like some of these people come into it and they don't know just how real it is, and because I've heard a lot of early people that came onto the show were like surprised that they ended up actually having to get their own food and stuff they thought it was just like for for show you know and they're like yeah. oh we have to actually survive out here this sucks <laughs> they oh, gonna the bring us camera, not actually like, they, like bring us food off camera and stuff yeah but no so it could be that kind of thing where you yeah, just well because you should it, know what you're getting into you're like it, it, 39 you should, days you should know that especially when you see the comparison of what the people look like yeah, before i mean just after. by watching the show you well just by watching the show even you can tell like these people are just like just trimming down like crazy mm-hmm. so um yeah i mean it's like if they're getting fed off camera there's no way that your body would change that drastically yeah um so yeah i don't know i mean i think it's it's just really interesting um that it is it is all mental but it's like i i part of me part of me is like a little bit sympathetic but like most of me is like just suck it up everyone else is like is suffering the same as you they all have probably the same thing yeah i mean i don't want to i don't want to come across as like really mean because every everybody deals with stuff differently you know but you know, it's like the it's just, obviously the more muscular guys do need more, right? Like you're yeah. supposed to eat more, so you it are, can be yeah. tough when you. It's more of a drop in calories and stuff. A shock, a shock protein. to the system. Yeah, no, it's it's true, it's true. But, but. So lost skinny Ryan. It is worth noting that yeah, the pirate theme is very, very apparent in this episode. The music very pirate themed. You know, it mm-hmm. felt like a little little movie, dude. Just just like the story arcs alone it's really it was interesting the the story arcs you've got people stealing things from other people uh you've got this theme of looking for treasure uh we had some treasure we had like captives being rescued and set free uh, yeah that and definitely now, a lot, I guess a lot of regular them. pirating every every yeah. challenge when you're gonna get to steal from yeah. another tribe now that's gonna be pretty cool so. so i don't mind it i like the little departures you know the little yeah because they're like we have the do 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 still in there yeah. a little bit yeah but we're shaking the formula up a little bit yeah. a little bit it's still the survivor we all recognize but we the little wrinkles to make it more piratey are definitely fun i wonder how committed to the brand they'll be like will we get the uh, 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 that song again or will it always be pirate champion victorious pirate theme <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'll we'll have to see. The freaking reflecting music where they all look in the final in the final three and <laughs> looking over. Such a good track. Such a good track. We need it. We know it's gonna be some freaking swashbuckling tunes this time. <laughs> yeah, you're r- riding riding the coattails of Pirates of the Caribbean right here. They all should be like in their own like pirate ships sailing off in the end the final people yeah be great or like their trip down memory lane you just chuck people over the side of the of the ship that'd be great (laughs) you keel haul the memories yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) all right so good stuff honestly Mm -hmm. nicole and skinny ryan are down we have 14 left produce ryan how many are there 
Uh, produce, produce Ryan. Skinny Ryan, as he's known canonically. Yeah, he's known canonically as Skinny Ryan, but I, but I like fans the fans dotingly refer to him as Produce Ryan. This fan does. He's, this fan fans, doting. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, all right. All right. Thank you for watching, and f- for sure, come back next week for yes, more indeed. Pearl Islands. It's going to be good. Mm. All right. All right. Oh, is there a video that uh, people should check out? Uh, watching this yeah go see our yeah go check out our top five movies that we define us the recent one the live action films <laughs> live action films yeah check out the live action the films. 10 that... live action films that define us that's right Very yeah cinematic episode <laughs> where we struggled a little bit but we had a good time it was great it was yes. so good it was, so there's it was great good. character moments for sure. Yeah, right. a lot, a lot, of, a lot of good arcs come to fruition. There we go. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.